Hey guys, Chris here with a video to help you choose the correct Machete Jungle Upgrade. In this video, we'll be looking at what these items bring to the table, how they influence your jungling, why you'd want to buy them, and who you'd want to buy them on. First thing to say is that there is a mixture of elements that will influence what item you're going to roll with. What are these elements? Well, it mostly comes down to your preferred style of play, your intentions for the game itself, who you're playing, and who you're playing against. In addition, you shouldn't just look at the benefits of the item that you want to buy, but of those that you will be missing out on as well. The opportunity cost is probably the biggest thing you'll have to consider when buying your item. Also, I'm not going to be including the poacher's knife in this video because I would never recommend that you actually buy it ever. I won't go into too much detail here in the video, but the short story is that it's simply really bad and inferior to Ranger's Trailblazer in almost every situation. If you want a more detailed explanation though, I'll post it in the comments of this video. So with the exclusion of D'Artagnan, we're left with the three Musketeers, Ranger's Trailblazer, Skirmish's Saber and Stalker's Blade. Which one do you go for and why? Let's take a look first at the Rangers Trailblazer. What does it do for you? Well, Rangers is the PvE option. It helps you in the actual jungle by not only giving you some decent sustain, but also a boost to your AoE clearing. Of course, every rose has its thorn as Rangers gives you no tools to help you in skirmishes, ganks, or teamfights. Having said that, it can still indirectly boost these things by making you healthier for them or to arrive to them in a more timely manner. Due to the nature of the item though, the less you're killing the jungle, the less useful it is. More specifically, the later the game goes on, the less benefit you'll be seeing from it. So who should you get this item on? Well, seeing as literally every single jungler in the game will be at some point or another battling through those pesky jungle monsters, you can make a case for getting rangers on just about anyone. Rangers really shines, however, on champions that struggle to clear efficiently and who want a little bit of a boost. It is for this reason the go-to choice for off-meta junglers and in general for whenever you're unsure of what to get or not too confident in your jungling abilities. Some specific examples would be Sedwani, Jarvan and Rengar. Next up is Stalker's Blade. Unlike the Rangers Trailblazer, Stalkers gives you a good lift in your PvP fighting. The best part about this smite upgrade is its utility, not only slowing your opponent but speeding yourself up at the same time. However, Stalkers gives you absolutely no help for clearing in the jungle or in any other PvE antics. That leaves us with the question of who you should be getting Stalker's Blade on. Well, anyone who wants a little push in their utility should consider this item. It can turn champions who are otherwise poor gankers into perfectly serviceable ones, so the blue smite is well suited to those who enjoy the early aggression. Later on in the fights, the slow can be used to help heal for your teammates or to chase down and stick on to those slippery enemy carries. Despite these benefits though, it should only really be bought on champions that are already well equipped to getting themselves through the jungle. If you can't clear properly, then you'll always be a step behind. Some examples of champions that Stalker's Blade works well on would be Shivana, Rengar and Nocturne. The last item to look at here is the Skirmisher's Sabre. From a spreadsheet point of view, Skirmishes gives you some very potent offensive upside, essentially equipping you with an Ignite for your fights. It also has some defensive bonuses, reducing the damage that you take from the person you smited. Essentially, the item turns you into a 1v1 Super Saiyan. The chances of you losing a 1v1 with Skirmishes on your side are very, very slim indeed. Sadly, it doesn't give you any utility and you'll need your own answers to being kited after you smite an opponent. Much like Stalkers as well, it also doesn't give you any jungle clearing benefit. And who should you be getting a Skirmisher Sabre on? If you're looking to maximize your damage output, then it is a great choice. It's also good if you're a little bit afraid of the enemy jungler in the early game and want to prevent being invaded and bullied. Similarly, high burst targets like Syndra and Zed on the enemy team can have their kill potential on you minimized if you can smite them before they batter you like a cot. Likewise, being an initiator often comes with its fair share of spanks from the enemy, so Red Smite can help keep you afloat when you go balls deep. But again, this item should only be considered if you're already competent enough clearing in the jungle by yourself. Some examples of champions in which Skirmisher Sabre is a good choice would be Vi, Evelyn, and Gragas. 
So to summarize, Rangers is for when you need help clearing or you don't know what to buy. Stalkers is for when you want to stick on to people more or have better ganks early. And Skirmishers is for when you're going ham. You may have noticed that some champions in my examples were listed under multiple items. That's because ultimately you can do different things on different people and there's no real right or wrong answer. Rengar, for example, can be a decent early game champion with Stalker's Blade, but he can also benefit from the more safer, reliable choice in Ranger's Trailblazer and play more for his level and item power spikes. But I think that covers everything, so I hope now you guys know what item you should be buying in different situations. If you did like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more educational league content with a bit of entertaining stuff on the side as well. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and catch me streaming on Twitch too. All of those links are in the description guys but most importantly thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video